Hey guys, it's Nikki. It has been a very long time since I've made a video. A long time. And I just wanted to make this video because I want to talk about what I've been thinking about lately and then a little bit more about direction. So first I'm going to talk about VidCon because I went to VidCon 2016. Then I'm going to talk about what I learned at VidCon 2016. And then I'm going to talk about next steps for this channel. So number one, VidCon 2016. VidCon was... It was, it was good. I got to see some of my favorite people, which was great, but I will say that I don't think it's anything like I expected. It paled in comparison to previous years. A lot of my friends don't go anymore, so it's kind of sad because I'm there and they're not there. So I think this may have been my last VidCon ever, which I know sad but we'll see I don't know I'm going to China <laughs> by the way for two years in a few weeks so I don't know what's gonna happen after that going to teach just like I did in Chile same kind of school same grade fifth grade should be interesting so that was the first thing VidCon 2016 VidCon has definitely just gotten too big for me I think it used to be about community and it's not really anymore I'm not getting out of it what I used to but number two what I learned from VidCon was I am inspired to make videos again. I make videos for a while, I go to Vid, and then I don't make them for a long time. Then I go to VidCon or another gathering and then I'm inspired to make videos again. And I do that for a few months and then life gets in the way. So I learned from VidCon that I need, I wanna make videos again. And one of my mo the favorite panels that I went to was the body positivity panel. And it got me thinking that I already really talk about that stuff on Facebook. And I'm always posting other people's videos or articles. By the way, I got to see Lacey Green in person. I got to get like a really stupid, not even great selfie with her. But I got to tell her that I think she's amazing and that, you know, she really inspires me. So that was really great. You know, I, I'm going to talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> um, because, you know, a lot of people that I saw at VidCon, I hadn't seen in a long time. And I was very nervous about this thing because... You know, those people I hadn't seen for a while. Um, but I, yeah, I don't even know how to say it. I'm just going to come out and say it. I have facial hair. Um, and it's really scary. And I don't even know if I'm going to post this video. I might cut this out. I'm really, like, nervous about it. Because even though I know people have seen it, and I have friends that I've seen recently, and they've seen it, and they still treat me like they've always treated me. And, but it's almost like the elephant in the room because it's like, it's almost like if we don't talk about it, then it doesn't exist. So yeah, I have facial hair. If you can see the lighting is not great, but yeah, I have it. And I think, you know, I don't mind that I have it. And I know some people do. And I used to make, I used to remove it. I used to remove it and I got tired of removing it because it wasn't something that was important to me. It was like a chore. And it just, you know, I got, you know, ingrown hairs and it just was really not great. So I decided to stop. And, you know, you could say that it's a feminist thing and, and maybe it is in some way because I feel like, you know, so many women have facial hair. Like, we all have a little bit of something. Some people have a little mustache. Some people have a little, a few chin hairs, you know, sideburns, things like that. But we are told that we are supposed to remove our body hair because we're not going to be desirable. So I think my point in talking about this is to say that, you know, I'm, I've struggled with my own body images my entire life. And I have just recently learned to love myself and learn to accept myself for who I am and accept my body for what it is. And, you know, I, I guess the point of, of talking about it is to let other people know that, you know, you don't have to hide it in order to be happy. You know, if it's something that bothers you, because you don't like the way it looks or you don't like the way it feels, then by all means, get rid of it. I It's never bothered me except for what other people thought of me and what other people thought of it. And so 
I guess what I the reason I'm talking about it is because I I want to be sort of an example for other people that you are still like I I feel like this whole thing with body image is such a feminist issue and again feminism is about is what's good for men and women as well and you know that whole thing is related to sexism you know not being not being feminine enough so to wrap this up because this is getting way too long um i want to start making more videos about body positivity about feminism about what it means to be a feminist about what we can do to combat sexism in our world and i want to hear your opinion so if you have an opinion about what i said and obviously they're going to be trolls and i'm going to just choose to ignore them please put in the comments what you think if you have a similar story and you want to share it please do i want people <laughs> to be i want everyone to be proud of who they are and to not be ashamed of what they look like um because the bottom line is you are lovable you are worthy of being loved you are worthy of being respected regardless of what you look like um and that is i think the message the overall message of this video for me so anyway if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below it feels good to be back i'm gonna try to make one a week i'm gonna try <laughs> um and especially when i get to china i'll start doing some vlogs and stuff anyway this has been nikki thanks for watching and i'll talk to you later love you guys bye